So I've decided I want to make a stencil of this Joker image. So I've opened it up in Photoshop. The first thing to do is get this image into a black and white image so that we can cut our simple one layer stencil with it. So we're going to go to image adjustments and threshold tool and this is going to turn the image black and white. So now we're adjusting adjusting the levels using this bar here and we're going to get it to the kind of level that we think is the best for the image so that looks good to me so we're going to threshold that image and we, what we've got to do now is we don't want a lot of this detail this background detail can all go so I'll just use my white paintbrush tool we'll get rid of uh, a lot of this excess detail also get rid of some of this white here that we don't want okay I'm going to crop it now because I don't want all this black down here in my stencil. I just want it to be a facial stencil. So I'm going to crop it there so we'll work with this section. Okay, what you've got to think about now is uh, this white bit that's in the eye here. You call this an island. An island needs to link to this outside part of the stencil because what we're going to be doing when we cut this stencil is we're going to be cutting around all of this black layer because that bit's going to fall out of the stencil and we're going to spray through the black onto the surface so if we just cut around all this black of the eye here then that white bit in the middle is obviously going to fall out of the stencil but we want that detail there so what we've got to do is link that to the outside So we've linked that bit of eye in there now, so that's fine. Uh, that eye over there, let's make sure we can, that makes that a bit better. And also this bit of black here, to make it, I mean, it's linked there, the stencil's linked in there, so that bit's going to be okay, but if we take this bit of um, black out here as well, that face, main face bit is going to be linked on both sides, it's going to make it a lot better stronger stencil so we'll take out some more of this other little bits of white detail you don't have to take it all out because as long as you know when you're cutting the stencil obviously you won't need these white bits they're, they're not linked to anything so we'll take them, them off So I've got it like that. Another really good tool to use to make your stencil a little bit more stencil cutting friendly is to go to your cutout tool. I find that you know, if you've got your number of levels and edge links, you can scroll out of this and you can see what it's going to look like when it's being transformed. So you just want to take out some of the, of the little bits of detail. And just leave a more basic cut out shape. See you in a minute. Okay, so that's looking a lot more simpler now. It's looking good to me. So that's it basically. We've made. Um, We've made the stencil. We can print this out, cut around these all these uh, black bits, obviously, and then spray your stencil. So your main thing, the main things things to use, is your image adjustment threshold tool to make the image into a black and white. And then from there, you've just got to figure out 
if you need to link any parts of the stencil together to stop it from dropping out. And that's it.